Hello everyone, I'm Chris, and in this video is a reference to my next my tutorial of how to use Twinkle to connect to an Ethernet IP IO link master. And I will introduce something some stuff in my tutorial in this video. So here you can see this is a black module. This is a Ethernet IP uh, IO link master come from Molex. And uh, here you can see a cable that is connected to a long adapter is connected to my other PC. This PC is used uh, is installed Twinket inside. Inside my inside the PC there is a TF6281 is an IP scanner to start the Ethernet IP scanner inside and then to uh, exchange the real time own data between this yeah uh, between this Ethernet IP master Ethernet IP device outing master. And here you can see a black cable. This black cable is connecting to a outing device, and this gear cable is connected with normal digital input. So why I do this configuration? That is, I want to tell. I would like to um, show you that outing is very grateful function that you can uh, define that uh, port is used as a outing device or just a digital input. So, for example, in here you can see a small green. Okay, I will use a screen drive. Here. Okay, you can see there is a small uh, green LED in here. If I press the LED, press the e-stop, then you can see the LED is turned off. Then when I release it, they turn on. So, on the other side, there's an outing device. Now you see there's a green with a green uh, LED turning on. So if I turn to some uh, RFID, okay, sorry, you can see my hand. Okay, here maybe here is okay. Then you can see the, you can see you can see the LED change to orange. And here I just want to explain something about the Ethernet IP. Then here you can see it's more long LAN, LAN LED, and here is a more LED. Then it's reference the chip uh, standard. If both of these two LED is turning on and green, it means now the adapter and the scanner is exchanging the real time data. Okay, and then uh, here is a trinket project that I created this time. Then I would like to show you that, um, for example, uh, first for the input uh, input channel first, go to IO device and your scanner and box one box one is your adapt, uh, adapter and go to the connections the connection to go to the input channel now you see see the value is four so when i press the e-stop you see the value you change the zero okay so why zero let me show you the screen again now because this one is connected to port 3, so port 3, and you can just count the bit, the bit bit 0 is equal to 1, bit 1 is equal to 2, and bit 3 is equal to 4. So if now the value is 4, it means that the port 3 is now is receiving some signal. So when I, re when I release this uh, e-stop, you can see the value change back to 4. Okay, for digital input, it's very easy and no need to uh, explain too much things. So, uh, how about the uh, outing data? I create a function block for encode all the outing data for this outing device. And uh, here, okay, I think it's in here, go here. And okay, uh, main, okay, so the main program. And I and uh, go to here okay now you see there's some value you will, you will see some value when i put the rfid device on a chip okay so here let me to put on here okay you can see now um, only one tag is detecting on this uh, rfid reader then here is the UI is ID. So if I here uh, okay so here if I put one more RFID on here, then when I put on the RFID sensor again, 
you can see now where they change to it meant it mean that now is two uh our id is uh scanned in, in the outing device so why i show you that i show you this is because our link um device is not just accept it's not just um receiving uh, digital signals data between so many types of analog signals it can uh it's very scalable in your project okay after i i explain the this uh video uh this project then i will show you some main point that when you config a Ethernet ip scanner with trinket the first thing is go to the um your chip scanner channel uh sorry it's adapter so make sure that you need you um config a correct mac correct uh, adapter what is this adapter this adapter is a the network your network id card uh, your network interface card is connecting to your adapter the second thing is uh, go to setting f800 and uh, here if a 800.21 and 22 this is a virtual uh, the virtual ip of your is uh, ip scanner in trinket it's very important that you must set an ip that uh with in the, in here if you don't set the ip in here this uh, the ip scanner will never work the first the first thing is there's the ethernet ip there's a net id so what is this net id using this is net id is used for um when you use uh is like a uh is like a trinket api to send some exclude message to an adapter actually you will need this net id so what you want to do at that time you can just pass the net id to the function to the function block so uh i'll show in here for example in the uh, poise main and uh, here okay i uh, just wait a second okay here is a get activity single it is it's a function block um it's an api that uh provide from a backup trinket tf6281 that will allow you to send a uh, script message to a adapter to uh with a get activity single service so in here you you need to a uh, part actually you need to pass a an s network id so this net ID is that what you see in the Ethernet IP tab. Okay. So another thing I would like to tell you is that you can import the EDS file for the right click, then import the EDS files, and also you can change the IP in each adapter by right click and change the IP address. And you can add uh, add I/O any I/O connections that depends on the EDS file by attempt IO connections to choose what you want and finally don't forget to wish to see the status when you have problem that with connection uh, with uh, the communication with your adapter don't do forget to see the state um, the error message on the state variables but also in the scanner they also have input a DEV status is very good for me, uh, for very useful information for you to troubleshooting. So sorry that might be my English not very good. That it is my first video to use English because uh, actually I'm use Japanese only. Um, I think I'll be better and better later. Hope you like this video and in the, the description you can you I will uh, place my link uh, of this tutorial again later. Okay, so see you again. Bye-bye.